left knee, left foot on top right knee. Inhale, press, left knee, down. Very good. Now bring your hands down. Let's go closer to the floor. Bring the elbows down to the floor. Bring chest as close as you can to the legs. Remind the hips touching the floor. And you want to go deeper. Bring your head down. Very nice. Chest touching your legs. Stay here for five breaths. Inhale, come back up. Now, leg twist to the left. Both hand on your left side. Twist. Warm up is very important to go to the main pose. And also to frequent injuries. Don't let your, your step injury. Okay, then now go deeper. Bring the elbows down to the floor. Very good. Three, four, and five. Come back up to the center. Now, knees together. Keep the knees bent. Feet on the floor. You can shake. Little shake here. Keep your spine lengthened. Very good. Now, place a right foot on top the left, on top left uh, knee. Try to bring the chest closer to the to the leg. Yes, like this. Keep your spine lengthened. Now you feel the tension on your right hip. Very good. You can hug it. Even half like this also uh, can, but uh, it's what if you want to go deeper, it's better press to the knees and bring your step closer. Yes, it is more deep hip opening. Very good. Now from here, twist. Bring left hand to your back, and now try. To bring the upper arm close to your foot. Inhale when you exhale, twist like this. Keep breathing. Inhale when you exhale, go deeper, close to your armpit. Yes, and look back. Hold your ankle, left, uh, left ankle, look back. Very good. Stay here. Five breaths. Three, two, and one. Inhale, come back. Release your right foot. So from here, you can bring right leg straight forward and push back. Push. Forward and push. Forward, straight, and push back. Forward and push. Very good. Forward. And push. Hold your push as far as you can push. I can release now left side, left foot on the right knee. And bring your chest closer to your legs. You can hug like this. Very good. Now you feel here the tension on your left hips. Very good. Keep breathing. So from here, let's do twist. Right hand back. Left hand up. As you exhale, bring the upper arm, the tricep, close to your foot. Very good. Close to your arm. As you exhale, even you can go deeper. Bring it closer to your armpit. Hold the ankle to support you. And look back. Very nice. The oblique here, stretching your oblique muscles. Three, 
three, two, and one. Release the pose. Bring the foot straight forward. As you exhale, bend the knees, push the leg back. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Hold the pose here. Push back. Push. I can release the pose. Right? We already warm up for the hips. Now, how to put it? For example, if you want to go to Dandasana, Yoga, uh, yoga Dandasana, Yogi stuff, is, uh, this is the easier way to do. Okay, let's say uh, right side first. How? Right foot on top of the, here, on top of the left foot. When you're ready, bring the arm close to your foot and hold here. Yes, just hold. And then press the foot to the arm. Press. They are press each other. The arm pushing to the foot and the foot pushing to the arm so you never get collapse, uh, fall away. And now release. Yes. Bring it away so you can stay here. So what to do next? You can go to the arm balance from here or you can go to uh, sit at Dandasana. Like this, you can bring the arm to the center. Yes, you can do it. Very nice. Just press here. Okay, release the pause. You can bring it here again and relax. And change side. Left foot on the right knee. If it's still difficult for you, just hold like this. Just hold like this as long as you can and release and repeat again, repeat again, repeat again. <laughs> That's what I did before my experience. So from here, how if you want to release from this pose? So keep the foot pressing to the arm and the arm push to the foot. And you can push back. Yes. You can stay like this. And from here you can do anything you want. You, you want to go to standing. Standing forward bend. Also. Or you can sit here like this. Also can. Anything. After you are able to hold this. Okay. Okay, release the pose. Right, so this is uh, how to put the foot to the arm, close to the armpit, to the upper arms. So if you're able to do this, then you can do whatever you want to do with these passes. Uh, that yoga, that asana, or grasshopper pose in any variation. But yeah, make sure that you have to work on your hip flexors. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for practice with me. Please share this video to your friend. Don't forget to subscribe. Any question, please drop me a message uh, to my Instagram or my Facebook or my Facebook page and description below or just comment. Thank you so much and Namaste.